Here we have another example of dependent type of motion or simply dependent motion. Uh, the diagram shows a man that has hooked up a pulley, a rope and a platform as shown to lift loads up to a nearby rooftop. Uh, it says if X is currently 15 meters and Y is currently 5 meters and the man is walking away from the building at a rate of half a meters per second what is the velocity of the platform at the instant shown so regardless of the details recall how you want to approach a dependent type problem de dependent motion problem uh, the basic idea is to take advantage of the fixed length of the rope and write a relationship in terms of the position variables, the variable positions, the positions that are variables. This way, if you take derivative of that equation, uh, you can come up with velocity. Recall by definition, derivative of position is velocity, and second derivative of position gives you a relationship for acceleration if needed. So let's take advantage of the diagram here observe that the diagram is basically a right triangle uh, to write the total length of the cable uh, as L observe that total length which I call L is sum of this length which is actually hypotenuse of the right triangle and this portion from here to here which I call say distance A so total length of the cable is A plus hypotenuse H. Note that for the position shown, we put the origin at this point and position of the man is designated as X. Position of the platform is denoted as Y. But as far as the right triangle is concerned, I can write square of hypotenuse equals to sum of the square of the two sides the vertical side of the triangle is 20 so I have 20 squared the horizontal side of it is X so that's how I can find uh, H which is the length of hypotenuse a portion of the rope is square root of 400 square root of 20 squared which is 400 plus x squared so i can now write total length of the cable in terms of the position variables observe that distance a is nothing other than 20 meters minus distance y so total length of the cable is a plus h or 20 minus y plus h which is square root of 400 plus x squared. So now I have the position function or the relationship that we call the constraint equation. If I take derivative of both sides, I have 0 for this constant. And then derivative of the right side is minus y dot plus derivative of the radical recall from your math classes that derivative of radical u is u prime divided by two radical u so i want to have two radical u u is the radicand what it is under the radical and derivative of the radicand with respect to time is simply 2x x times x dot Okay, so at this point, I have a relationship for velocities. Uh, the man is walking away at a rate of 0.5 meters per second, that is x dot, and we want to solve the equation for y dot. Therefore, y dot is really velocity of the platform which is 2 cancels 2. Uh, for the instance shown, it is stated that x is 15. So I apply 15 times 0.5 over square root of 
400 plus 15 squared so taking a calculator and doing the numerical calculation y dot which is velocity of the platform turns out to be 0.3 meters per second so in dependent uh, motion situations again basically the main idea is to write the constant length of the cable in terms of positions either x1 x2 or xa xb or xy or whatever the case might be thank you for watching